The Senate is set to take up the House-passed $95 billion foreign aid package this week as the legislation moves closer to final congressional action. The package includes aid for Ukraine, Israel, and Taiwan, with the Senate starting with procedural votes on Tuesday afternoon. While there is expected support from both parties to pass the legislation, the exact timing for a final vote remains uncertain. The legislation combines four bills providing significant aid for Ukraine, Israel, and the Indo-Pacific region, along with increased sanctions on Russian assets and a potential ban on TikTok in the U.S. House Speaker Mike Johnson faced opposition within his party but managed to push the legislation through with bipartisan support. The aid for Ukraine and Israel had been delayed due to negotiations on border security, which were ultimately discarded by Republicans. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer expressed confidence in passing the aid package and assured America's commitment to delivering aid to those in need. The Senate's votes on Tuesday will lead to a final passage vote by Wednesday night, with senators returning from recess to address the urgent matter. The legislation's journey has been challenging, with Speaker Johnson facing criticism for compromises made in excluding border and migration policy from the package. The Senate is expected to show overwhelming bipartisan support for the aid package, following President Biden's urging for swift action to sign it into law. The House's passage of the legislation in four parts paved the way for a streamlined process in the Senate, with components similar to a previous bipartisan bill. The aid package includes substantial funding for Ukraine, Israel, and the Indo-Pacific, with added provisions related to loan repayment and forgiveness. While some Republicans and Democrats may oppose certain aspects of the legislation, the overall support is anticipated to lead to its successful passage. The Senate's consideration of the aid package signifies a crucial step in providing much-needed assistance to countries facing various challenges, and the bipartisan effort reflects a united commitment to supporting global allies and addressing humanitarian needs.